Some of your mentors, who are some of the people you um, looked up to um, as you, in your formative years? Without the likes of the great pianist and organist Shirley Scott, Trudy Pitts, that's my son in the background. Uh, hold on. Wait about five seconds. <laughs> as far as CDs, see, he actually interrupted the other interview, but he was a baby then. Sleep. Without those, I, it wouldn't be an Orrin Evans without Sid Simmons and, and Eddie Green also, who, you know, when I was still in high school, really inspired me to get into doing this and and, and trying. And then, of course, all Tony Williams, all the, the Philadelphia quote unquote musicians are really who inspired me to be who I am. I go back to the time that I carried him. Uh, I performed the whole time up until it was embarrassing. <laughs> and I look and I think that has added a lot other than what God had himself planned for his life. Uh, but I performed with Oren until it was embarrassing, as I said, and I think the music is instilled in him. <laughs> When I see them, I feel like I'm part of history, as if someone who was there when Thelonious and when Max and when John was playing um, to say that the mantle has been passed. Warren is one of the greatest pianists that I've ever heard in my life. The piano was always in my house. Uh, it, 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 at first it was a piece of furniture, and then uh, my father, as a frustrated pianist, mm -hmm. uh, Asked my sister, did she want to take lessons? And she, she was very good at it for a while, but it just wasn't something she really wanted to do. Uh, and so then I would come behind the piano sitting in the house and just doodle. And for years, that's all I wanted to do was just doodle. Then uh, I think around 10 or 11, they gave me piano lessons. I still wasn't serious. It wasn't until I moved to Philadelphia and I went to a school, uh, performing arts school, high school, middle school. Oh, neat. And I really said, okay. I might like this thing. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what it is like working with Arn. It's always creating on the spot, and that's the thing I love. I always find out something new about myself when I work with Arn. So that's why I always look forward to working with him. He's open. So being that he's open, he doesn't. He's not restricted to just like a, a, a few ideas that he may have. He's open to the fact that other people may have other ideas that, that go in a different direction than his own. But his musicality is so sharp that he can adjust to it. So it's like, he's, he's, one, of the, he's one of the few people that I feel like the most freedom with musically. <laughs> is a pleasure. It's a, um, he's, a, he's a dear friend and the music is almost a byproduct of the, the affinity that, that we have for one another and, and that, that he has for these musicians and, and um, it's, it's really good. It's really good. It's like home. The 
industry wasn't ready and still hasn't figured out how to be ready for an Orrin Evans, you know. And then at, later after that, I just said, I don't care. <laughs> you know, I'm going I'm to make my own little track. I'm going to put my own records out. I'll do it this way. Because if you keep waiting, you'll be waiting for a long time.